All right, everybody. We're just gonna look at one end of the old tub tonight. It's not really a tub. It's a 12 foot table and I'm throwing the stick right. I'm out of position. I don't know what the hell to throw. I could try my Axis Pyrocraft toss, but I might hit a chip. Of course, that chip might keep them from hitting the dadgum pyramids, and that would reduce the randomness of the toss. So I'm just throwing like a hard way set right now. Fives over fours. There's two fours. That'd be a hard eight. Dang. I reduced the randomness of that throw, apparently. My buddy, Yanmar, he's been giving me a hard time anyway. My buddy, Yanmar, says I should practice more, talk less, I told him I didn't agree. Three, one, four. Now, those had a lot of action off the wall, or away from the wall, rather. But they did not hit the diamonds that I could tell. Y'all can probably slow it down, freeze frame it. My buddy Yanmar, he's famous for that kind of stuff because he looks at my dice all the time, calls me and critiques me, tells me how random I really am. There's a five. The nice thing is, is we're avoiding those landmines pretty well from down here at this point. We got three hits plus point. Deuce. But still, I don't think, and you know, I don't think, now I could be wrong, y'all can go back and watch that and you can turn it down to an extreme, severe, critical, slow motion, and look at them dice, because I ain't going to do it. I'm just going to take the point that I hit and go with it. I don't have time to do that at a table. I know that I didn't get an on-axis result. There's a four. That's not an on-axis result either. But if you got money on that four, it's a hell of a lot better than a three if you don't have money on the three. Like the previous cost. Buddy Yanmar says, I'm dreaming. Yanmar says that I can't hit repeating numbers unless I'm drinking. Now, those went up a little bit on the wall, just a little bit. But I swear to God, I thought I just threw a 3 1. Excuse me, hit, hit the camera with the stick. Maybe I didn't just throw a three one, but you know I thought it was a three. I know it wasn't a, I know it wasn't a two two. I know it wasn't a two two. It must have had to have been a three one or a one three. I mean that's the only other combinations I can come up with in Yanmar. Now he could come up with some others. But he drinks a lot on the side. Mostly in a closet. Oh, I look at that shit. Whoop, I didn't mean to cuss. That's a hard four. We'll mark that with a green chip. I like different color on the table anyway. Damn, that's four fours. That's not... That's just total 
absolute 100% variance of throwing a toss, isn't it? I mean, it really is. You can't do that. There's no damn way you can do that because it's all random, according to my buddy Anmar. There's the point. Now I don't have one of them fancy counters up at the top of the table or the top of the video for you guys. You know what? You ain't gonna get one. I think it's too much damn trouble. Alright, so we're coming out. Or did, did those hit the pyramids? I don't, I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know. Hard six, though. Is it random if you don't hit the pyramids? Or is it just random when you throw them and they land? I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know the answer to that shit. Let's see. I really don't know. I guess it's all random. The whole world is random. I mean, aces. I mean, if you look at what's going on in the world, everything's random. There ain't nothing that's got any order to it anymore except chaos. Chaos is the only thing that's got any order to it. I read that in Yanmar's book. Write that down, ladies and gentlemen. Chaos is the only thing that has order in this world. Whoa, that was a big old hop. But I know y'all can look at it my screen. You can see that two right there. You can see that six down there. Still ended up with a random eight. We got us a random eight, folks. We're proud to have it. The only order in the world is chaos. Or randomness. There's a five. We haven't hit a five in a while. It's about time, I mean, with all the chaos and randomness in this toss, you'd think I'd get around to hitting something again every once in a while. I don't like throwing the hard way set, but I am out of position. Oh, mercy, we hit the point six and we hit the damn thing hard. Throwing a hard way set, too. Mm, shit. Did you have money on it? Nah, you didn't have money on it. I don't know why you didn't have money on it. You didn't have money on it because you believe everything's random. And there's no way that that guy throwing the way he's throwing down there on a stick right can throw a number in the middle of all these landmines he's got sitting down here. Yeah, now I got a last spot. But you got to find your spot. What if... It, what if the assholes start moving their shit around? Let's move it in there tighter. Surely that'll make it harder. Can't make it any more random because we're already random. I gotta give Mudslide Matt credit because he throws right in the middle of those darn dice when he throws his chips. Oh, we hit a nine. You know, I may have to quit making videos. Oh, I'm sorry. I marked that as a nine hit, and nine is now the point. I know you can't see it, but write it down on a piece of paper if you got one. If you don't, text it to yourself. Put it in your phone when the point's nine. All right. Dang, 
There's another five. Now, they did move them damn chips in my way a little bit more, I think. But it's nothing but pure variance to a random toss that I'm not hitting the damn things. I know it is. I know that's a fact. I read it. I read it in Yanmar's book. Hard 10. Holy smokes. Can't be possible. Got to be some magnet down there making that shit happen, I guess. Because this ain't, this ain't possible. You can't do this. Throwing hard way set out of position Whoo! look at that that's a freaking hard four damn now Ed you need to color up and go home because you're showing everybody up with your random tosses You know, that's what Abe Lincoln said. That's where Abe, that's where my buddy Yanmar got the quote from. There, we landed on top of the chip. Landed smack dab on top of the chip with that ace, which I just rolled over to a three. Ace deuce. My buddy Yanmar. He read that in Abe Lincoln's book. Ace deuce. Damn, we just hit the small. I would never bet it because you can't hit it. I would never. I would never bet the all tall small because that's an idiot play. Damn, yeah, there's a 10. That's two 10s. Was that two 10s in a row? Maybe. One of them was hard, one of them was soft. As far as I'm concerned, they're all hard. Hard 10, girl's best friend. That's what the stick man said. All right. We got a pretty good damn random throw going here. Oh, we finally woke the four up again. Damn. Oops, sorry. I know y'all had to see that because you only got one camera to look at. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing that on purpose. I thought I'd get high tech with you guys. Like some of these betting channels, just use one camera. Alright. You ain't gotta worry about the glare on my head though. Can't see it. That's a Yanmar quote. He's a bald headed guy. Oh, that was a hard looking throw. I'm gonna have to rake this one over here carefully, folks. But that's a five. And a three. Apologize for the random toss, but I don't have any choice because they're all random, you know. That's another eight. Really hate to throw extra random though, because extra random, when you're throwing extra random, well, my buddy Yanmar would say you need to pack it up. Because extra random don't really count as a legitimate toss. Oh, I hit the chip. Got the point out of it, too. 639. Dang, son. Now I am marking these. I don't know if y'all are texting them to yourselves, writing them down or anything, but I need a 12. 
<laughs> 12 is what I need to finish the tall. Of course, that's a fool's bet. I don't want to change die sets because, you know, I'm not superstitious. I just want to just keep throwing what's working. And we got to come out seven. That knocked down the, the tall and the all. But we got the small money in our... No, we don't because we didn't bet. Never mind. Woo, we got to start over on that thing. So many people are mad at me for not tossing with any influence at all on that particular toss. I apologize. There, we did it again. But see, the come out guys are loving it. The guys that are just sitting on the come out side, they really like it. I guess we want to change things up a little bit. Let's change tosses. Let's make it ex critically extreme random. Is there such a thing as that? We're not going to stand four feet from the wall and pretend to be throwing random. See there? Damn, I threw another seven. That's three sevens in a row, right? Last I looked, that paid the pass line again. Alright, I'll go back to what I was doing. I don't want to mess y'all up. I don't want to I don't want to influence anybody's mind that the stuff we're doing is anywhere near magical. Six four ten. Now I think those those dice reacted pretty darn well. That was a fluke. It was a total, total, total fluke. Because you can't throw that way. You can't throw the way I throw. Without hitting the back wall. Alright, so we've sevened out. Those barely hit the back wall a little bit. They probably landed right around the first or second row. Alright. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to back this up. So y'all can see the marks. In case you forgot to text yourself, in case all you folks forgot to text yourselves, the points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Damn, I threw six fours. I'm sorry, I apologize. I shouldn't have done that because that tends to mean that you don't hit repeating numbers you don't have any influence. Three fives, four sixes, three eights, two nines, three tens, a two, a three, a twelve, or eleven I mean, and what we have three come out sevens? Time come out sevens can be well timed at times, you know? They make you look like you know what you're doing when you don't have a freaking clue. But in that hand we threw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 box numbers. And three jump. I think there was three sevens thrown, two of them come out. If I remember correctly, might have been four sevens and three of them come out. Don't matter. It's all random anyway, right? It's all absolutely positively random. Nobody can have any influence on the dice. If you're watching this channel expecting to learn something about influencing dice, you're wasting your time. You should go watch somebody who don't know that out. A damn thing about influencing dice. Like me. You should watch me. Because I don't know really anything about it. Yanmar. He got my he got my dander up when he called me the other day. And told me that I needed to give up. The YouTube channel. I told him he was probably right. Now we threw the, we threw the dice for I don't know 15 minutes. We didn't get through one full stick change. I hate that when that happens because I like to see who the next stick man's going to be. Now that talk
toss right there is a totally different toss. Look what we just hit. We hit a nine. Let's see what happens. I'm going to rake all this stuff up out of the way. Points a nine. Be sure and put it in your cell phone. Text it to yourself so you can see it. I don't want to back this thing up too much. Woo, I got all these I got all these random chip hits in this in my in my in my road here where I dragged my dice back. Sorry about that, I had to move them. There's an eight. Now those dice did not hit the back wall either. I mean, they hit the back wall, but they didn't hit any of the diamonds, did they? If, you, if you're not sure, hit the rewind button on that computer or telephone or whatever you're watching this on. Could be a TV. Just back it up. Watch the, those dice land again. And those didn't really hit anything. other than the base of the wall. Aces. That's a questionable legal throw right there. They'll count it though. They'll count it because some dummy, some dummy is betting all tall small on this random guy, you know, because he's just like everybody else. He's random. He might have hit the small a minute ago, but that was random. Just like that one. See, there's a 6 1. Total random. One die short, other dice didn't. Other dice did okay. Let's try it again. Let's see if we can get more random. I love random. I love random. Random is my new name. I'm going to call, start calling myself random. I'm going to call Yanmar tomorrow and tell him to start. Just call me random. I mean, I appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate y'all listening to my rant. But you really shouldn't watch me. You should watch those guys that don't know anything about throwing the dice. Because they're random. Because I promise you one thing. If I'm random, I know they're random. Six. I mean, I'm throwing them all over the place. That's how random I am. I am so random. I might take up golf. I wonder if I could ever hit the hole. Ah, I shouldn't have said that word. There's the ace deuce. We're about to knock out all the craps numbers, I think. I would change dice sets, but what influence would that have? That wouldn't do a daggum thing, because everybody knows that it's random. And if I were to change dice sets, all I would do is exponentially increase the possibility of a totally random talk. I've hit every craps number. Dang. That's a miracle. That's not precision tossing. That's just freaking luck. Totally 100% random.
Shooting those dice, you know, I don't know why they didn't go up there and hit them dead gun diamonds. I don't think they did. They might have. They might have jumped all the way up here off the deck and hit somebody in the forehead. I just didn't see it. <clears throat> I'm not sure what happened. I blinked. Aces again. Man, we're hitting all kind of whore numbers. Y'all betting the whore numbers? Most random guys, they like to play whore numbers. I mean, they really do. If you're ever, if you're, if you're ever at a craps table, because everybody's random when you get there anyway, might as well just bet on with 12. Shit, that guy hit the point. How can a random guy like that just throw all them craps numbers? Because I was, you had to have been sitting on a no five. I know you all were sitting on a no five on that toss. After all them whore numbers, you probably loaded up on a no five. Maybe you're on a no, maybe you're on a no four or a no ten. We'll see. There's an eight. There's your good payout on a don't don't number. Now you might lose. But it's random. He probably won't hit it again. I doubt he does. Well, my buddy Yanmar never bets the don'ts. There's a nine, six, three. Hmm. That's a lot of box numbers you've already hit. Not to mention all them crazy horn numbers you've hit. about y'all but it didn't look to me like them dice had a whole lot of extra action on them off the wall. It looked to me like they kind of pretty much just kind of sat down after they touched it. But you need to put that on super duper ultra slow motion just to verify that and see how they land. Because they might that landing might have tricked our eye a little bit. I don't know. There's another ace deuce. Man, what's up with the horn numbers, folks? You in the field? Surely not, because the field sucks. We all know that. Hmm. Big jump down there. Shoot, that's another five. Look at that. That's five of them suckers. Well, since it's random, I would never press it. I'd, I'd be lucky if I'm even betting on it. I might just be sitting there on a six and eight. I don't pass on an eight. I don't. I don't know what I'd be betting, but I, 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 I'd never bet on that five. I would never, never bet on that five. In fact, I probably would have turned, if I had been, I'd already had my bets turned off because I wanted to win my six dollars. See, that guy threw another five. How can that possibly happen? We got to have to turn on the eye in the sky and tell them to come down here and put some suits standing around this thing because this stupid shooter who's just barely hitting the back wall most of these shots 
starting to get hot, it looks like. I don't know. Maybe he'll sell them out here in a minute. Still got all them chips in his way. He lands right on top of them and he still throws a five. Yep, four and a one. I have to take my shoes off, count that high. But I think that's a five. I think it was a five. But, it's a random five. It's only the seventh five in this hand, but, you know, there's a 12. I mean, it's seven random fives is what it is. It's, it's, it's seven random fives, folks. It's not, there's no influence at all. It's all 100% BS. No, no tossing skill at all. <laughs> if y'all could see this toss I'm throwing, but I ain't gonna show it because it's random. I wished I could show you. I might get around to it one of these days. Oh, then went high on the wall, and I threw a 10. You know what? We needed a 10. We hadn't hit a 10 yet. So that was luck. 100% pure, 100% luck. That was the tall, though. If you're keeping score at home or on your cell phone. You keep it on your cell phone, you text yourself the number every time, in case you didn't know. Oh, and we got a random seven. We got a random seven. That's terrible. That's a terrible, 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 terrible toss. Let me back this camera up just a little bit. Let's do it this way. Oh, y'all can't see. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Seven horn numbers. All right, remember that or, or text yourself one of the two. We never hit the four after all them fours we had earlier. This hand didn't have any, but Lord, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It had seven fives. Now, you know that's random. Did we not have a six? Maybe we didn't. We had an eight. We had two nines and a yoke. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. That's eighteen tosses. Hundred percent random. Hundred percent random. Can't get it all in the camera. Oh well. It don't matter. Y'all know who I am anyway. I just, you know, I'm random, but all I do is roll to win, folks. That's all I do. I don't roll to lose. I don't go to the casinos to socialize. I don't go to the casinos to have fun with buddies. I go to win. That's the middle of my title. Win. It ain't go there and socialize drink, stand at the table and lose your ass. That don't have nothing to do with me. I go to do that right there. Do I do it every time? No. I don't. But that's why I go. And if you don't go to win, you're going to lose. It's that simple. If you don't learn how to toss the dice correctly, you never will do that on a consistent basis. If you don't know how to bet, you won't win either on a consistent basis, or you won't win good money, I can promise you that too. Anybody else, okay, anything you want me to rant about, send me a note. I love making stories up and telling crap when I'm throwing. If you want me to turn my channel off, let me know that too. But I'll leave you with one, one thing that I've always said, and that's practice like you play, play like you practice. 
And if you do that and you learn how to do that, you have an opportunity to go roll to win. Otherwise, it's all random.